lot of time in our homes and one room that gets visits from both family and guests is the bathroom. If you're looking to update your bathroom's look on a budget, our next guest can help. Kaylee Cook is with the blog Apple of My Ivy and has some bathroom trends you might want to consider before you start taking out tiles. Welcome Kaylee. Thank you for having me. So how does renovating our bathroom add value to our home? Renovating the bathroom, like you said at the beginning, it's it's kind of where everyone can go. It's it's the one small room where you can really show place um, your favorite things, your trends of the year, um, what you really love, and you spend time in there. You want it to look good. And you recently just renovated a few bathrooms. Yeah, yeah. So yes, what trends did you see when you were in that process? Yeah, we're in a huge home renovation right now, an old um, 1912 historic home. And so we did three full renovations wow. and two just kind of cosmetic renovations. So the trends um, that I saw as I browsed social media, looked at some blogs, um, read magazines, was really a ton of mixed metals. I'm loving that look of, you know, like polished nickel, but brass. Uh, I love like antique brass to kind of warm up the room. So. I'm really into classic, timeless looks right now yeah, that you know right here. will look really beautiful. Um, you can see in some of these pictures, just look at the light fixtures. Like that draws straight to my eye. Um, I love the, the look of marble showers. Subway tile will always be in. You can see this. And what we, we did in our master was just a big shower like that. Um, it's so beautiful. I'm seeing a ton of black and white also. Um, that's always a timeless look. It'll be so gorgeous years and years later. Um, this is one of my favorite. It's from House of Brinson. They have historic homes. Look at the mirror. Um, you can really show place huge antique pieces, um, sconces, really can change a room and the look. I love that background behind the mirror. Is that wallpaper or is it actually tile? That's actually tile. And I mean, look at all these tiles too. You can really play around with the look you want. Colors in this picture, floating vanities are really on trend. Um, this is a bathroom with mixed metals, which we did in all of our bathrooms. You have the polished nickel and the brass to kind of warm it up. Um, paint is an easy fix. Wallpaper in this bathroom an easy fix. If you're just looking for kind of an inexpensive way to update your bathroom, any of the non-permanent fixtures like sinks or the sinks, faucets, um, those are all kind of permanent, but any of the non-permanent like mirrors, um, hardware on your cabinets, those are easy fixes you can just update and really inexpensive. So how do you plan for this bathroom renovation and bring everything together? What do we have to keep in mind? Yes, it was a huge planning section. Um, really wanted to utilize the space to the max. We were combining an old kitchen and an old um, small bathroom into our master bath because our house was two apartments and we're turning it back to single family. So um, just utilizing the space to the full max. Um, where you want to place your toilet, you know, maybe you do need to change the plumbing. Uh, we had to totally move a toilet spot in one of our bathrooms. So really kind of look at the layout and see what, how I can get the max out of my space in this bathroom. Um, functionality, where, where do you want your vanity? How do you want it placed? Looking at your cabinets and really choosing your look. Um, do you want it bold? I'm seeing a ton of blacks, even like dark stones. We've seen white so often lately, um, but black stones. Are you and, surprised by that? Yes, I am. Um, but trends are ever changing and it's kind of neat to see new things and the dark stones back in the day. Um, you know, there's really beautiful black granites. Um, you can get dark veining if you're interested in marble. So um, there's just always ways you can change the look. So if we're thinking about renovating our bathroom and maybe we're on a tight budget, what would you recommend the first thing that we do if we're not doing everything? I think um, lights and mirrors and hardware are kind of the three things that can really change a room. Maybe you can't afford tile change or um, you know a sink fixture. But a mirror, just look, um, antique mirrors are so huge right now. Uh, anthropology has a ton of neat kind of gold decorative mirrors. Just a mirror can change your looks so much. Um, or hardware, there's tons of hardware out there. If you um, just want to play around with 
uh, updating your hardware to maybe a more traditional look or masculine or classic, decorative. There's so many hardwares out there that can just make transform a bathroom into infinity. It looks so good. So experiencing this yourself when you were doing the full renovations, what was the biggest challenge that you faced? The biggest challenge we faced was designing it, and that's so hard. Um, you just want it to be perfect. You're working with um, you know, contractors that are designing the space for you. You maybe have changes and changes, but um, my advice is just to be patient. You know, you, they maybe give you one design plan, and uh, we tweaked ours five or six times. Um, we tweaked our kitchen 15 times before we came up with exactly what we wanted. So, um, you know, just be patient, come up with the design, look at the internet, look at um, social media, Instagram, Pinterest, you know, kind of find exactly the look you want and see where they buy things and you can transform your bathroom easily with that. Are there certain parts of the bathroom when you're doing a renovation that you should leave to the professionals? Definitely. <laughs> um, plumbing, yeah, that would be a huge one. We just don't even mess with that. Uh, that's a big one. Also tile, you know, there's there's, you want it to look perfect. If you're spending the money, uh, there's, a, there's tons of ways to DIY things. There's YouTube videos, but um, tile is one thing that I would put money into because you want it to be perfect. And when it comes to the decor, real quick, we only have about 30 seconds left, but how can we add, if we're really on a tight budget but we want to switch up a few things, how could we add maybe a little color here and there? What are some things, simple things we could switch? Yeah, even simple things like the bathroom rug or a little vase or your shampoo bottles or um, even your towels, your hand towels. Just adding pops of color here and there, that can really brighten up a room and transform it too. All right, thank you so much, Kaylee, for coming thank in today. You. Thank